So here is um, a big flow chart kind of summarizing all these different inorganic compounds. And this can be real helpful to refer to as you are working through nomenclature exercises and to just kind of help yourself get this big picture of what's going on. I believe this is in the book, yes. Pretty much everything, every graphic that's in the book, almost all of them, I'm sorry, all the graphics in my slides are from your textbook, okay? Um, people have different styles of learning. Um, I'm a visual person. I need to be able to see something either actually or in a mental picture. And so when people give me directions to their houses, I'm like, I'm just completely lost. They say, turn left here and go right there. And I'm like, blah. I want a picture. And that's why I love Google Maps, right? Because I can just type in their address, and then I can see, like I'm a bird flying over the city, I can see the map. And then it all makes sense to me. Okay, this is like Google Maps for nomenclature. Okay, this is the big picture of how all these different things are related. This will be more helpful to some of you than to others.